hello guys welcome back to my channel today's art project is going to be a diy and i'm going to show you how to make this drawstring pouch for your bucket beaded bag so if you want to see how that's done keep watching so for the materials you're going to need for this video you need your already made beaded bucket bag you're going to need some pins a piece of chalk a ruler some safety pins a scissors some ribbons i have black and cream white here um, a needle and some sewing thread tape measure some material a lighter some fur and i have a glue gun here so to begin you're going to measure the circumference of your beaded bucket bag you can either do this or simply wrap your your material around your bucket bag leaving an inch so you're going to be able to sew the material together so make sure your material is always folded and facing you so I have some loose ends on my material so I just run a lighter through it in order to prevent it from fraying out too much now basically we're trying to mark the channel in which our ribbon is going to pass through to create a drawstring effect so i'm measuring um two inches from the top to where i want my channel to end and half an inch for the channel Right now, I'm going to link um, the channel which I've drawn out on the wrong side of the material. This is the wrong side. I flipped it on the wrong side and I'm trying to link it together. And let me just say this. Anything you see me do with a glue gun in this video, know you're supposed to be sewing. If you want to sew, that's fine. But I'm lazy and I decided to use a glue gun. So basically, I'm connecting those lines on the two sides of the material in order to form the channel so wherever you see me in this video using a glue gun use a sewing machine you can sew it by hand i've done all of those so i'm just trying to show you that even a glue gun works if you decide to use a glue gun make sure you're using very thin strips of glue in order to put your project together especially on the place where you're making the channel so now i'm just gluing the top close in order to make my work to look more neat and ignored my working space please i just made a mess everywhere now i'm just closing the pouch together ignoring the channel i'm not going to close the channel the channel i made i'm not going to shut it now turning my pouch inside out i'm just trying here to create another hole or gap in which i'm going to send the ribbon through i'm doing a two-sided drawstring and I'm using a lighter here to block in the, the place I've cut so it wouldn't fray out. This is me measuring it in the back. As you can see, it fit very well. Cut a really long string for your project. Mine was just fine, but it wasn't long enough. So cut a long string twice and I burned the edges to prevent it from fraying as usual. Now I just attached the safety pin to the string. I folded the string like five times, attached a safety pin there and I'm just running it through the back so they can come out on both sides. Now to further decorate the back or something, I decided to add some pearls at the ends of my ribbon. So that's basically it. We are done with our pouch. As you can see, when you pull it, it draws in just fine. Now, to attach it to the back, 
so i am just sewing the pouch to the back some people just leave the pouch in like that but i find that mine moves a lot so i decide to sew it to the back so i'm just moving the needle through the beads and out again wrapping it around so this is what it's going to look like when you're done now my client wanted fur at the corners of her back so i decided to add this fur to it so i basically sewed it down the same way i did with the um with the pouch and that's it we are basically done you you don't need to add the fur there but my client wanted it, so i decided to add it so this is what the pouch looks like and this is how the bag looks like without the pouch still pretty and this is our complete bag with everything thank you so much for watching i hope this video helped you please like comment subscribe and leave a comment i'll see you in my next video bye